I do believe we are live. Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of the TT Ride on the Edge 3 uh, career mode. Yeah, that is. Like I said the last time, that's a hell of a mouthful, this ran say out loud. Right, I can hear myself, I'm sure you just heard me there, I was just checking the stream to make sure it's working. So yes, this is part 3 of the career mode on TT Ride on the Edge 3. Now, here's the deal. I don't know if you are watching last time, you might have been, you might not have been. If you want to watch previous videos, there is a playlist on my channel, please go check that out. But let's go into the map. So last time, you may remember, we went into this and I started. So we'll, we'll hold the start. We're going to start this event and I'm going to uh, tell you what I discovered quite recently. Okay, so here's the deal, right? The last time I did this, I spent half an hour thinking I was qualifying and then I got to the... I got to the end of the qualifying session, it became zero on the clock, Come, came to the end, I was in first place, I'd done what I needed to do, and it said continue, press X to continue, so I pressed X to continue, and guess what happened? It seemingly took me right back to the start of the session, or so I thought. So I was a wee bit pissed off, I was like, this game has just wasted half an hour of my life, but what I didn't realise was, until much later, is that there's actually two sessions, sections, sorry, two sections to this. So the first one, as you can see in the top left corner, I never noticed this before, it says setup, stop, stash, free practice. Free practice, okay? Now what I didn't see was that free practice session. So what actually happens is once you make it through this half an hour here, then you actually go into the qualifying session, which is what I thought we were in. Then you do that. And then once you exit that, then you've qualified for the race itself. Now, here's the deal. I am going to start this event. I'm going to do a lap. Then I'm going to credit, skip the session, if you like, go into the, the uh, qualifying part of it and treat that like it's a proper thing. And then we'll do a race. But I just want to get one lap down. I'll go to the track. I'll do one lap, get a feel for it. And then we'll get into the qualifying session. So we're not wasting our time completely. Now I hope my audio levels are okay. I haven't really checked. I actually turned this microphone down a little bit just to stop any distortion. So hopefully they're fine. I'm, I'm still on the fence about what microphone to use for these streams going forward to be honest. Uh, with the PS5 here, I started out using the Pulse 3D. I didn't like the sound of it. I thought it sounded awful. So what I've done, what I did in part two and what I'm doing now is actually using a pair, a cheap pair of Turtle Beach uh, Recon 50s because they have a wired connection and they have a little uh, microphone attached to the headset. Now, they're not perfect, but they are certainly a damn sight better than the Pulse 3D. But here's the deal. Apparently the Pulse 3D are far better when you plug them in. You wire them to the controller, so I will do that. The problem is, I, I can't. I don't know where I did with the wire, because obviously it, it came with the wire, but I don't know what I did with it. I have an old wire sitting here, but it's only got the uh, the prongs that work the headset itself and not the microphone. So I might go out and buy myself another wire just to test the Pulse 3D. So yeah, the the, the sound quality is going to come and go in these streams for a while, same as the PC. Uh, I've got so many microphones, I'm trying to find the best one to use. Each each setup I have uses a different microphone. So, for example, I'm using the, like I said, I'm using the Turtle Beach uh, Recon 50 for this on the PS. I'm going to crash. Yeah, I crashed. I'm using that for this. Then on the Xbox Series X, I'm using the, shit, the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 2s. And they sound amazing. Now I did get it set for the PS5, but they sound awful. Something to do with the way the connection is. Apparently uh, on the Xbox it's 5 gigahertz connection. Yet on the PS5 and the PC, because it's a wee dongle, it's actually a 2.5. So you don't have it anywhere near as good a sound quality. So it is just a guessing game. And then on the PC I have my, I have a couple of microphones I can use for the PC. It's whether I want to use a headset or an actual mic. So yeah, so that's that's what's 
that's why the sound quality is going to be all over the show going forward for a few streams just to test things out but right now we are going through this want to get this lap done then we will go and quit the session not quit the session skip the session hopefully i'll get a decent time in here and then we'll take the qualifying we'll hopefully become we'll hopefully come first in the qualifying and then we'll go to a race and that should take us one step closer to our ultimate goal which is getting to ride the TT course itself, the mountain course. Oh! Yeah, I, f I fell off the bike. I fell off the bike. I have to say, maybe it's because I've been away from this game for a few years. Uh, for about a week because it wasn't well but but it's looking really nice i've been busy playing truck driver the american dream on the xbox series x and it's it's not a bad looking game it's not the best looking game it's not a bad looking game but this tt here is looking great it's looking amazing I just don't remember it being this crisp And then, just while I'm here, I've got a new... We're here, we're coming to the end of the session. There we go. So, as you can see, I've qualified. We'll go into live session. Take a look at the timings. 4.16 for me so far. No one else has completed... Oh, there we go. 4.18. So, that's not too far off me, actually. So, that could be a threat. But, like I said, we're going to skip this session. So, if I say yes, skip the session. Continue. In the top left corner, it should now say qualifying session. So there we go. So what I would do at this point before is I would have thought if that the the game had basically screwed me over, and I I would quit out. But what I didn't realize was you have to start the qualifying session and do the qualifying session. So I was going to say something there before that ended. Yes, I've got a new monitor coming. So I'm currently using a 27 inch monitor, and I'm going to be upgrading to a 32 inch monitor. So hopefully that will make all this a bit more, uh, certainly make the games a lot more immersive. And hopefully improve the stream, not for you guys, but for me playing the game. Quite, there you go, just thought I'd tell you, makes no difference to you, I realise that. But shall we go and do this again? Right, let's get qualified now, here we are, we're actually starting with a few riders, Ian Hutchinson. Yes, and as you can see, the names of the riders now come up. I'd said that before and it didn't work, but now it's working. Where you can see that that's Jimmy Card ahead of me. So that's nice. Get past him. Get a decent lap in here. Uh, I'm not going to do the full half hour session if I don't need to. So if I get this lap in and it's decent. What I will do is I'll take a, I'll see how far off the other competitors are and if they're not looking like they're going to catch me then I'll just skip the session and go straight into the race. What's the point doing a half hour of this when I've already done a half hour of this uh, in the last stream? For night? Or for not? I mean, I, I've said it before, but the, the whole like wind effect that you hear as you go past stuff, it's just, it's so cool. Now, who's this enemy? It's not coming up. It might come up as we get a bit closer to them. No, it's not coming up actually. Oh, what is the chances of me just slapping into that post? My god. See, his is coming up. Jimmy Carr is just coming up, but why is the bike ahead of that? Their name didn't come up. Is it a glitch? Am I not close enough? 
Am I not meant to know? Is it a mystery? To the hairpin, slow down. Oh, so it's a wee bit sluggish to turn there. And there was a nice spark effect, I don't know if you saw it. Frame rate's getting a wee bit choppy. And it's kind of smoothing out now, but the frame rate there got a wee bit choppy. So who are you, mate? Why have you got no name? about over halfway we've only fallen once so far hopefully we can beat the 418 I did last time I think it was 418 or was it 416 I think it was a 416 actually and the nearest competitor I saw was a 418 at the time but they had two offs in that that lap so I've only got one off so far I don't want to jinx myself, mind you. Coming up to near the end here. Well, here we go, right to the end. And there we go, that wasn't bad. Hopefully you're hearing me okay again. I'm a wee bit nervous because I did turn the microphone levels down in this just to make sure, just to check that, you know, I don't want it to be, I don't want any background noise coming in and if it's too loud then it can distort your voice. So I'm just going to have a wee check here. Just give me two seconds. I'm just going to have a wee check here. Just give me two seconds. Right, you, pro here, you probably heard that. Yeah, you probably heard that on stream. That was me checking the stream live as we're doing it. So it seems like it's okay. I haven't really heard it without it with the background noise going with it, the game itself. So let's go into live session. All right, so we did a four a four minute, a four zero basically, uh lap there, thirteen seconds ahead of Hutchie. I wonder why these three got penalties. I wonder what they did. Now I'm quite happy with that. I think I think we could quit this session and you know it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So if we end this session, right, so I qualified in first place, as you can see, a 93 mile per hour average lap, which is the fastest, yet the max speed. I was one of the slowest. I was the slowest. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if that's accurate, because how can you, I can't, there's no way I'm 20 miles an hour slower than everyone else max speed. There's just no way yet have the average fastest speed. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, uh, we're going to do a race now. Hopefully it will let us do a race. Well, there's the experience that's gone up that good. That's good. And the upgrade points. So I'll take those. So if I go into the map, yes, I knew, and I, I knew, I knew you have a race I can do. So as you can see up here, well, this thing disappears actually. I've done two out of eight qualifying events. That's completed. There's the second race I will take part in. So we're going to do that. And then we'll see what happens. Now, here's the deal with these streams. I'm going to try and keep them pretty short, not too long. I'm not going to go hours on end because I do believe that that can be quite boring for some people. So if I'm going to try and keep these streams to roughly about 30 to 40 minutes, I think that's the, the sweet spot and it comes with a racing game or whatever. So I can see we've been going for about 15 minutes. So we'll, we'll do this race, see what time that takes us to, and then we might do another event and we'll go from there. But yeah, let's do this. So this is St. John's Course Section 2, an unofficial race event. Complete, 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 complete the event to progress in this season. It's dusk and it's overcast. Now, of course, you may or may not know, but the real TT, and we're going through Peel here. We're going from St. John's. Now we're going from 
Now right, we're going to we're heading towards St John's. I can't speak tonight for some reason. Yes, the real TT. If it was overcast, uh, if there was any chance of any rain happening, they just wouldn't do the race. It's just not worth it. So we'll see what the weather's like here. We'll see what the uh, we'll see what the weather's like, and we'll see what conditions are like. But we'll give it a go. We're going to give it a shot. Right, there's a wee bit of sound on the screen. Just give me another two seconds just to check my volume levels if you'd be so kind. Right, there's a wee bit of sound on the screen. Just give me another two seconds just to check my volume levels if you'd be so kind. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Hopefully it's working on your end. Like I say, this is all just trial and error. So it is. I'm still working all this stuff out. So if there's any glitches in the audio, just please forgive me. But as I say, it's all it's all a thing in progress. Just starting out with all this. Although saying that, I do have 49 YouTube subscribers, which is good news. Thank you very much for everyone that subscribed. Hopefully I'll hit the big 50 soon. Right, so... Ah, I jump-started, man. Disaster. And... Almost a disaster... A disastrous... Well, not a complete disastrous start, but not good. But there's Jimmy Card. You know, I don't understand, though. I'll be honest. I don't understand why you have to qualify on a completely different section of the track for this race. Surely, if you're qualifying for this, you should have qualified on this... on this part of the circuit. Not qualify... 15 miles away on a different part of the island that makes no sense just logistically it makes no sense why would you qualify on a completely different track that's like qualifying at brown's hatch to race at silverstone you know what i mean it's like where is the sense in that so that's one we think i don't get i don't understand that i imagine that the eight qualifying events and the eight races are really just uh, giving you experience for the actual TT lap itself. So you're getting all parts of the circuit. I'd imagine, I'm just guessing. But this is actually quite a fast part of the circuit here. Now I've got a 10 second uh, penalty there for jumping the start. So could be a bit of an uphill battle depending it might not be it might be all right time will tell real good sense of speed in this game oh whoa 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 don't whoa i saved it i saved it somehow that was just pure pure luck uh, i'm not saving this though no i didn't think i was saving that all right, so this, I can hear them coming behind me. See, they're not that far away. And I need to build myself 10 seconds of a gap here. So I really can't afford to be crashing. So I can't, uh, is this just, I think this is just one big long lap we're doing then. Yeah, it's just from A to B and that's it. I really do need to try and get myself 10 seconds here. Well, actually, I take it back. This actually is where we're qualified, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a different place. I think. I think. I wonder how much of a gap that is now, maybe about two or three seconds. Don't know if it's a full ten. We'll see. We've got two miles to go. Sorry if this goes silent, it's just I'm really concentrating on this. I really wanna build up this gap. But there's no indication that I have built up a gap or a gap have built up. There's no live timings, really. There's no like distance markers, you know, between me and the guy behind in real time. That would actually be handy if I had that. Especially in something like this where, you know, it's not the TT, it's a smaller event. That was pretty sweet through there. 
Couldn't have done that much better, to be honest. All right, here's the end coming up. This is actually being pretty fast. So, maybe, I don't know, have I done 10 seconds worth of damage here? You know what? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. So that puts me... I'm going to end up 7th, I think. Yeah, 7th. I built up a 5 second gap. That wasn't bad, to be fair. Maybe I should restart. I think I'm going to restart this and do it again. And... Yeah, I'm going to restart the race, do it again, because it, it was my fault. Ah, well look, at least this time I'm not going to get the 10 second penalty, so there's a slight chance. Even though it wasn't the best start again, I have got a better start. Because I'm not sitting here with a 10 second penalty on me, on me to, to fight against at the minute. So... We'll see if we can build up this gap again. Of course, I fell off last time. So that didn't help, that lost me about 2 or 3 seconds. So if we can maybe not ride, well ride conservatively, not go too mad like I'm just about to do, I just came off, so everything I just said there, a little bollocks, but I tell you what, we are going to just go for it now then, that's the deal, we're just going to go for it, so that's Craig Neve that was actually in front of me that time, because that's him there, and that was the same bike, but for some reason his name wasn't coming up, got a little penalty there, it must have been for grazing someone, I don't think that was entirely my fault, sir. There's James Hillier. And Jimmy Card. Gonna come past you, sunshine. Thank you very much. I'll take that to the bank. So yeah, hopefully. I don't fall. I fell. I fell big time. Oh, this is disastrous. Maybe I shouldn't have done... Where are they all going? Where am I going? Ah, you know what? I'm sorry. I have to restart this. I have to restart the session. I know I'm a big roost, but I have to. That was just getting too disastrous. All right, let me start it. Yes, please. Right, I'm going to hold the clutch. I'm going to give her a tiny bit of power. Uh, release the clutch. Again, wasn't the best, but at least I didn't get a big massive kick. Right, the key is not to fall off. The key is not to fall off, to take it easy and beat all the other guys. I mean, it's as simple as that, you know? I don't know why no one else thinks of doing this stuff. Just take it easy and beat everyone else. And don't fall off. Don't fall off, I'm going to fall off. That's one tight corner, it just comes out of nowhere. Thankfully, that wasn't completely disastrous. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, let's see if we can get to the end of this one. In first place. There is a nice little gap starting to build up, so if I do come off again, it 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 might be all right. I mean, I'm not saying I want to come off again, but if I do come off again, I might have a little bit of time in my pocket that I'll get back on the bike and get going before the catch up. Oh, 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 just lost it, completely lost it there. Okay, I didn't have that time in my pocket whatsoever, because that was a very high, uh, high speed section. So everyone just blasted past me, as you can see. Now, hopefully, I can actually get them here in the, on the corners, in the twisties. That's Hachi taking care of, up in the sixth. Here comes, is that Dominic Herbertson? Let's get rid of him. Thankfully these guys are pretty much bunched up together, so... Take out Dom, Gary Johnson, Brian McCormick. 
And James Hillier's coming up. There we go. And then past Jimmy Carr into the corner down here that's quite tight. So ease off. Come in. I know there's a tight. This is it here. It's a very, very tight corner. And that's going to be followed by a tight ish corner up here just by that ambulance. Yeah. Not a tight ish one. There we go. So he's by the my ass. Oh, someone came off. Someone came off down there. I don't know who it was. But we are leading the race. We're leading the race, and we've only got two and a half miles to go. I would also believe this is quite a fast section of the track, so these two miles are just going to fly by, literally. Yeah, there we've got just over a mile and a half to go. We're a good distance away from the guys in front. It's pretty much straight. Apart from this corner coming up here, but it's, a, it's not exactly a tight corner, so we just sweep around, keep her planted. There's a couple of corners coming up I can see that maybe they're not disaster. Nah, they're pretty they're pretty decent. They're pretty decent. That's a wee section there, I could maybe see you uh, yeah. Just I was just being too careful there to be honest. I didn't want to fall. So I was being a little bit too careful. But there's the end coming up. I'm feeling good. There's no time penalties. I'm in first, which means I'm going to be first. And boom. There we go. I'll take that to the bank. Uh, yes, first place. Jimmy Card must have came off because he, he's, he's last. And he was in second. The real winner in all this was Hutchie, by the looks of it. I'm not sure where he was for that race, but I don't think he was in... He definitely wasn't in second. James Hillier was in second for a lot of that race, but Jimmy Card must have came off. He must have been the guy that came off on that tightish corner past the ambulance in that town. So, yeah. Sucks to be you, Jimmy Card, my friend. There's the upgrade points. So, let us go and go to the map. So, there's our next... There's our next qualifying session has opened up for us we're going to go into the garage we're going to open up a motorbike setup is there anything else we can do here what's this now chassis so if we do this one the way of the bike goes down ever so slightly and our performance goes up so i think we will unlock that yeah so that's that do we have enough for transmission? So this will give us a little bit more torque. Probably not much to write home about. Like probably not much to even notice. Suspension or shock absorber, sorry. So that puts the weight down and should in theory make the bike easier to handle. All right, do I have enough to do the rest of these here? The fairing. Again, it's all about the weight. I got a trophy for that. Fuel tank, that's a max fuel tank anyway, there's nothing I can do about that. I wonder, can you, is there another one you can get? So do I want better brakes? I probably do want to get the best brakes I can get. So there we go, I'll do the brakes. The engine, definitely want to upgrade the engine, don't we? I think that's important. Tires are very important, I'll take them. I think that's basically it. That's all we can really do, yeah. So I'll take that to the bank. Then what we will do is we'll do this here. How, what time are we looking at here? We've been going for half an hour. So if I do this here, the southeast course full circuit temporary challenge, try to set your best time before the challenge ends. You can replay it until the time runs out. You can only collect the reward after the challenge ends. Try to set the best time before the challenge ends. So how long does it last? We'll do this, and then we'll call it a day for the stream. Oh, it's raining. This would never happen. This would never happen. You would never be out on the TT circuit raining, but you know what? Let's just see. Let's just give it a go. So I'm guessing we're just doing A to B here. I'm guessing it's just one big long. Yeah. This will give us good practice of the... Of the circuit, of the mountain course. 
the bike is slippery as shit, man. There's no grip in these tires. There's a reason why these boys don't do the TT and the red. This is why. Look at this. What the hell? I don't even know how far I'm meant to go, but I gotta say, those had some nice reflections on the ground. It's actually a thunderstorm. You can hear the thunder in the background. Ah, oh, no. Uh, there we go. I'm down the ground. See, that's what would happen in real life. In fact, this would never happen in real life. You would never race the TT in the wet. It just wouldn't happen. I definitely feel like they screwed me over here. I should have like rats on or something. These, these, I mean, these do look like rats to be fair, but they're not doing a fucking thing for me here. They're actually, they're definitely rats. Look at that thread, but there's no grip. There's literally no grip on these tires. You know, the bike is like the bike just that. That was me hitting the brakes. The bike just slid out. Absolutely no grip. This is... It's like riding on ice. And I don't know how far... Is this the... I'm not doing the entire lap of the course, am I? Nah, surely not. I don't think I am. I think it's just a smaller section. Look at that. Is that a puddle? Again... What the, f what the feck? Right, I guess the key is to maybe not even use the brakes, just roll it in. That's what I'm doing here. I'm maybe tapping the brakes a little bit, but mostly rolling it in, and it seems to be working a little bit better for me. As you can hear. I'm kind of like, yeah, just tapping the brakes, but mostly I'm, I'm easing off and not hitting the accelerator. Except that just happened where I fell off the bike. Oh man, this is... Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, not going to lie to you. I don't think I'll be com I'll be completing this, but I don't think I'll be. I don't know if I'll complete it, but I don't think I'll be beating any records here. These guys wearing t-shirts? Are they mad? Wait, is there a map? There is a map, so let's see. Oh, it's a hell of a way. Okay. Look, we're just gonna have to do this. We'll do it. We'll get it done. It's a challenge for a reason. I just feel like it's not fair. The cards are definitely stacked against me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The tea cut. That'd be fine. Oh man. Like, he said this was a. See, the bike just doesn't want to stay on track. It doesn't want to stay on track at all. Lovely countryside, though. Ah, uh, skimmed that wall. Man, okay, I I officially apologize for coming off so much. I 
I'm obviously not good enough for the red. Wow, look at this. This is gonna be disaster. Right, break, 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 break. Roll it over in. Break. Break, 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 break. Roll it up the hill. Up this other bit of a hill. There we go. Maybe the key is not to give it full pelt. Maybe the key is just to give it... Oh, you hear the crowds going, way. It's maybe just to give it a little bit of gas, not too much. But not mash the button down, but ease the button down, squeeze the button, and I still fell off. Although I think I am starting to do a little tiny bit better. Or maybe I'm not. I am going to finish this though, this is getting completed. Shit. Let me just check the map here. Okay, we are we are getting there. Once we turn this corner, then we're kind of on our way back. We're kind of on our way back round. I believe this is the is this not the final part of the mountain section? No it's not. It's not actually. background I definitely don't think we're doing this in the fastest time possible but again we would have no indication of that to be fair Oh, we do. There's a there's a timer. There's TV cameras. No doubt, green light television. I definitely do not like doing this in the rain. burst just about do it in the dry it's the complete lack of grip whatsoever the bike over just a tad too much. You have to really ride conservatively. I said this before, but you do. You know, this game is not easy. Even on the easy setting, it's not easy. You just stand there, buddy. Don't worry about me. Two people. 
I'm telling you, this, uh, this has been torturous, this lap. Okay, so, it's just the bike just wants to go. The bike just wants to go on the ground. It doesn't want to stay up. Which I don't get because he has, he has got full wets on. The tires, the thread in the tire is full wets. So you can see that. But there is absolutely no grip whatsoever in this bike. It's like, it is like riding on ice. Now, I know that's meant to make it more realistic. But if you want to be realistic, see? The bike just, all I did there was twitch the controller slightly and the bike just gave up. If you really want to be realistic, then you just wouldn't have him riding in this rather. It just wouldn't happen in real life. And the problem is that because there's absolutely no grip, it becomes so frustrating that you end up making more mistakes like that. There we go, another one. The bike just literally slid from under me. Okay, I hold my hands up. That was my fault. I should have been looking ahead of me, not to the side. That was on me. That was on me. Right, so here's the deal, right? So I'm breaking, but I'm not, like, I'm not breaking hard. I'm going to ease it in without really hitting the accelerator. Then I'm going to take off. I believe this is the final part of the mountain course in the actual TT circuit. So this is where they'd be coming down here, coming down to towards the grandstand again. I do recognize it. Yeah, if you're leading the race at this point in real life, then you've won it basically. Because it is pretty much straight. Full throttle. Full on. And there is this awkward as shit bit here where you go around like a... You go around like a roundabout and it's so tight. It's it's almost ridiculous. You can I can never do it. So I've got no hope when it's relers like this. Jeez, I won't even get to that part. I'll be dead. But yeah, the grandstand's just past here, I believe. So, yeah, we come into this bit. So as you can see, it's very, very tight here. Actually, that's not too bad. Maybe that's not the bit I'm talking about. I think it's up here. See, the bike just will not slow down, and then it lets go off itself. Is this bit coming up here? We see how tight this is. Now, this is an actual part of the TT circuit, right at the tail end of it. So, you go around this, if I ever stay on the bike, you go around this roundabout. We don't go around the roundabout, you cut through it. But it's so tight and so awkward. And this is at the tail end of the race when you're fatigued. You're meant to try and get through this. And you come down here and then you fly. Well, you're meant to hit the accelerator and fly past the grandstand. And give Steve Flater a heart attack. So in real life you'd be getting trying to get this close to the trip wall to try and get Steve Flater. You'd be like, woohoo! But that is no way. Well I did I did complete it in 14 minutes with the penalty. I wonder what the penalty was. What did I do? So it's 77 miles per hour average lap and 157 miles per hour maximum speed. I'll take that. All right, so there we go. We're back here again. So why is that still there? Is that just, who cares? I've done it. I'm not doing it again. There's no way. So I think we'll call that the end of part three. What we would do is the next time we come back, as you can see, we've done two qualifying and two races. We need to do eight of each to then be able to qualify for the TT itself. And then we're going to do the race of the TT. Now, I'd rather I stick to the Supersport or maybe jump on the Superbike. I'm not sure yet. 
I know I want to do a couple more. We'll do this time trial. We'll do the qualifying in the next one, and we'll do the next race in the next one. Maybe still on the super sport bike, and then we might jump on the super bike. Now, for those that don't know, the super sport is a 600cc bike. It's the bike we're currently riding, and the super bike is a 1000cc, and that's the big boy. That's the one that has all the power. That's the one everyone wants to see. So it will be a bit of a jump going from the super sport to the super bike, but I think that if I can get four of these here done each on the Super Sport, I will think about jumping on the Super Bike and see how it feels. It may be too powerful. I might be making a mistake and I could be, you know, falling off countless times, but we'll see what happens. But that is the plan. So anyway, yes, I'll call this the end of part three. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're watching this live on Twitch, thank you very much. The video will be exported over to YouTube where it will be available to watch again. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. If you're on Twitch, please give me a follow if you like what you see. And yeah, thank you for watching. So keep an eye out for part four. I do think I will be playing more House Builder tomorrow night. Now that won't be live. I'm doing that on the PC, so that's pre-recorded. So if you want to see it, please follow my YouTube channel, wrdgaming. Wrd gaming, but with dots in between the wrd. Look for that on YouTube. I might even link the YouTube channel on my Twitch page. It may be a link there. But to, uh, yes, I'll be playing that tomorrow night. So I should be uploaded tomorrow night, House Builder. And then possibly on Saturday night, I might do more Truck Driver, The American Dream. And then I might introduce another game. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I'm rambling on. Thank you for watching part three. Look forward to part four. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.